Rob Sherrill, they're waiting on ghost buses. These are buses that don't show up. We found that in the last year and eight months, the CTA had almost 360,000 of these canceled runs. The I team is finding out what's going on and what's being done about it. There's more than 420,000 riders per day on CTA buses, but frustration can soar if you're ghosted by your bus. It's coming, then it'll say delayed, then it'll pop up again like a three minutes, and then you'll be waiting, then it'll say 10 minutes, 15. Yeah, we just be waiting for like an hour. Tax preparer Tavia Turner says many times she's delayed because of problems with the 49 bus in the Beverly View neighborhood. I wait for the bus to go to work, and if it doesn't show, then I lose money. The app will say the bus is coming, but then it doesn't. It never comes when it needs to come. Yeah, especially late night. After our interview, it took 20 minutes for that 49 bus to come. There were delays and cancellations on the app. Turner is not the only person affected by disappearing ghost buses. Under the Freedom of Information Act, the ABC7 data team obtained CTA numbers showing that from January of 2022 through September of 2023, a 20-month period, almost 360,000 bus runs were canceled. Most canceled runs, 97%, cited a lack of staffing. The ABC7 data team also found that Turner's bus, the 49 and 49 Express, are two of the most delayed bus lines in the city in recent months, along with the 22 bus in the Rogers Park neighborhood. I have waited at least 40 minutes for a bus. Michael Fuller says he's sick and tired of the 22 bus delays. Usually it makes me leave even more earlier than I really have to, just so I don't miss the appointment. We found a similar story at another one of the top delayed lines, the 63 bus in the Woodlawn neighborhood. We're waiting like an hour or maybe longer. Of course, we're not happy. If the chief transit officer at CTA, Donald Bonds, is giving the I-team answers. When the system is, an app is saying that the bus is there and then it's not there, what's happening? Usually it's probably a, a, an employee that has called off and we had, didn't, were not capable of filling that run, so it will remain on the board and then it will disappear off the board. But it's usually because of a, a last minute call off that it will show that it's not coming. The CTA says those routes with the most issues are also the busiest routes and that if a trip is missed, another bus is often not far behind. The agency adds that the overall cancellation problem has been improving. For example, in August of 2022, there were 27,477 canceled runs. In August of 2023, there were 4,937. But what about the overall number of cancellations that we uncovered? Nearly 360,000 canceled runs. The number sounds high. The number sounds high, but when you look at the total number of trips that we put out on a daily basis, it's, it's a small fraction. The CTA says it's a small fraction considering it averages more than 15,000 scheduled bus trips a day. It's a big deal if you're waiting on that bus. Yes, it's a big deal and we, we hear that and we hear the customers. We're still working through a lot of our challenges. We continue to bring on, on uh, manpower to help increase that service level. The CTA says it's exceeded its goal in 2023 of hiring 700 drivers by offering bonuses and offering more full-time positions. Riders say they hope the efforts make the ghost problem disappear. Fix it. Fix it. The CTA says it's also helping new hires get a commercial license so they don't have to pay for one on their own. They expect to hire another 200 bus drivers by the end of the year. Rob Sherrill, even though the ghost buses are a small fraction of total runs, it's a big problem if you're waiting. As you saw in that story, it was very easy for us to find people mm -hmm. at the bus stops. Long, yeah. Well, eye opening and revealing. Thanks so much for that, Jason. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.